everyone! In the evening video, we will find out what is written in the Baij book, why the US dollar sank sharply to the lows of November and why the US stock market is taking a pause. Now let's discuss everything in detail. The crucial report for global investors on Wednesday was US inflation data for December. The CPI confirmed that consumer prices surged to 7% from November and remained at uh, the highest rates for the last 40 years. Notably, experts indicate that the headline inflation, excluding prices of gasoline and transport services, begins to expose the first signs of of exhaustion. The core CPI without gasoline and food prices rose by 5.5% on a year. The US Fed released the Bite book exactly two weeks before the nearest policy meeting. This is a regular report from the regulator on US economic conditions. The fresh report reveals a steady economic growth, albeit the industrial sector and domestic demand might be losing momentum. The same might be true about consumer inflation. The Fed also pointed out the other headwinds such as logistics problems and the lacks of personnel due to the Omicron variant. Today, traders got to know the information on factory inflation, and the US PPI slipped to 0.2% in December from 1% a month ago. In a separate report, the number of initial unemployment claims grew to 230,000 last week, higher than expected, and surprising a flat number at roughly 200,000 in the last few weeks. Analysts compare the current situation with the early 1980s. Looking back, high inflation was propelled by a rapid rally of oil prices. As a countermeasure, the Fed raised interest rates that eventually reached 16% per annum. However, the cost of the victory was a downturn in the economy and the jobless rate at 10%. Jerome Powell and his colleagues are unwilling to repeat this painful experience, so they aim to take flexible and cautious moves. On Wednesday, the US stock market took a pause following two days of active growth and in light of the high inflation data. The US major stock indexes closed yesterday almost flat. The Dow Jones itched up 0.1%. The Nasdaq closed with a 0.2% gain, and the S&P 500 rose 0.5% intraday. Today, futures on the S&P 500 are trading lower since the early American trade. The index shed 0.2% to trade at 4,726. The expected Canada on the daily chart is between 4,400 and 4,750. The US dollar is wound down by the signs of waning inflation and dovish and certain comments in Jerome Powell's testimony. As a result, the US dollar index slid to the lowest level since November 15. Yesterday, the index lost 0.6%. At the same time, the euro dollar pair rose to 1.1440 and escaped from the trading range that was lasting from mid November. The US dollar index also left the flat market. Currently, it's trading at nearly 94.87. It's expected to trade in the Canada between 94.70 and 95.30. Analysts are certain that the US dollar is going through downward correction. The greenback will recover inevitably as soon as the Fed Reserve begins monetary tightening. Experts foresee the first rate hike in March. And the USD card pay is also extending its light. Uh, this comes uh, as a no surprise amid the greenback's weakness and the bullish wave in the oil market. Meanwhile, oil prices are testing five year highs. The corridor for the USD card pay is expected to shift lower to the area of 1.2400. Currently, the pay is trading at about 1.2482. 
and what's about Bitcoin? It's uh, also taking advantage of the greenback's weakness. The most popular crypto has gained 2.75%. Yesterday, Bitcoin tested resistance of 43,800, overcame this obstacle and moved higher towards 45,500. Nevertheless, the digital token has not gained full-fledged bullish momentum. Now the price is trading lower at nearly 43,800 points. A lot of analysts take notice of the obvious correlation between Bitcoin and the S&P 500 index. Thus, the firm US dollar will put pressure both on the stock market and the crypto market as well. The US equity market is on the verge of a further decline. There is a higher chance of the beer market on the back of soaring inflation and the fast spread of the Omicron variant worldwide. Please leave your comments. Follow the latest news on global financial markets on InstaForex TV channel. And see you tomorrow.